Uh, you could assume that the RS5 Coupe and the RS5 Sportback are, you know, like direct competitors, but actually it's not like that because uh, the RS5 Coupe is actually the more sporty version of the RS5 family. So it's the only really coupe shaped uh, derivative that we have in our whole Audi portfolio and especially the RS version as the most sporty version is a very, very special thing uh, because of this uh, fact. The RS5 Sportback at uh, on the other hand is the version with a higher amount of everyday usability since it has a bigger luggage storage for example and also the four-door concept which is obviously different to the coupe version. It is correct the uh, A5 PI so the facelift of the A5 does get the uh, RS typical um, honeycomb mesh in the single frame grille. Actually, this is no problem for our RS facelift because we did a lot of things for the RS5 family in the facelift version. Because not only did we add a lot of new design features uh, with the RS5 PI, we really modified the front, the rear and also the side view of the car since it is all new parts. We also have a completely different single frame grille compared to the uh, A5 since it is wider and also lower compared to the uh, base model. And uh, of course we have a new wheel program. We have bigger wheels and uh, wider wheels compared to the A5. We have uh, a lot of uh, RS typical equipment that is just available for the RS. Like we are the only models in the portfolio that can go to up to uh, 280 kilometers. We have the oval uh, exhaust pipes at the rear. We also have uh, a lot of new design features in the interior. For example, we have new shift pedals, which are bigger and which are in a real aluminum uh, material. We have new RS design packages. We have a Bronx package, which is new for the PI. So we cannot talk uh, about uh, the thing that A5 and RS5 getting closer together. We are still have a very, very RS specific car with the RS5 PI. And of course there is one uh, very important thing to mention. Only the RS5 family has this really, really important design feature of wide wheel arches. So compared to the normal A5, the RS5 family got wider wheel arches at each side and we talk about 15 millimeters, which the RS5 Sportback and the RS5 Coupe are wider compared to the normal A5 family. Talking about the customers of RS5 Coupe and RS5 Sportback, there's a little difference. The RS5 Coupe customers are really the sporty customers, let's say. So they uh, really put emphasis on sportiness of their car and the RS5 Coupe is actually very, you know, is embodying sportiness in a very sexy shape. So this is the only classical two-door coupe that we have in the portfolio and the RS version really puts the top uh, on that. The RS5 Sportback, on the other hand, uh, is also very sporty, obviously, but we target uh, more customers that are classically in the area of sedans or limousines. So those customers put higher emphasis on everyday usability and with the RS5 Sportback, we are really fitting those customer needs for everyday usability. So talking about the uh, equipment highlights of the RS5 PI, we uh, of course did a lot of things uh, with a facelift. One thing uh, which is really new uh, with the RS5 facelift is the Style Parkade Bronx. So this Style Parkade features a new designed 20 inch wheel with Bronx mesh and we also added some new design features in the interior. We have new shift pedals, which are made of real uh, aluminum. We have a new RS design package with gray stitches inside, putting a real uh, nice new sportiness into uh, the car. And we have some new RS uh, monitors and displays uh, that we've added for the RS facelift. 